All right, I haven't made a video in quite a while, so it's definitely time. I have three things that I want to talk about in this video. One, my new hair color, which is by Bijan. We'll get into that. Two, the movie Flight. Three, the movie Breaking Dawn Part 2. Okay, so let's start with the hair. Um, as you can see, it is black. It's like jet black now. Um, and so... Um, how did I get it that way? Um, I use this Bijan. This is a permanent hair color. Um, the color I got is Oriental Black. It says no ammonia, no hydrogen peroxide required. Um, it comes in this little powder. It comes in a powder form in this little bottle. And um, it has a little measuring tray that it comes with. And you measure out how much water depending on how much of the bottle you use. I used two, so I had to measure this twice. And I got two of these and two boxes and everything. Um, and I really like it. Um, it doesn't seem damaging. Um, of course, you do still need to stay up on your deep conditions and um, just healthy hair practices in general. So that's it. This is a new hair color. Um, to get this particular style, uh, what I did was I did two strand twists. And then at the end, I rolled it in, um, what are those little rollers called? Um, perm rods, I think. Okay. Wait, this is the, oh, okay, I got it. I'm not looking at my shirt. <laughs> um, I just put these little per perm rods on the ends. It's actually called cold wave rods. I think everybody else in the world calls them perm rods. So put these on the end. I did like eight. Yeah, I did eight twists and I curled the ends with that. And, and this is what you get. A little wavy with a little curl at the end. Okay, enough about that. First, I'd like to talk about Flight starring Denzel Washington. Now, if you haven't seen the movie, click the red X in one of these corners right now because I don't want to spoil it, but I'm going to. So if you have not seen the movie right now, click the X. Do it. Hurry. Before I tell you all about it, then you're going to be mad. Okay, so hopefully the people who haven't seen it are gone. Okay, what was with the first three minutes of the movie? Why did I see this lady all butt naked in front of the camera just there? I was looking like, okay, just like, okay, I see your boobs. Oh, and your pocketbook. Okay, Lord Jesus. Okay, so anyway, other than that, though, the movie was excellent. I give it two thumbs way up. I give it four and three quarter bags. Just because I had to look at that lady's business for three minutes in the beginning of the movie. It threw me off. Um, but yeah, four and three quarter bags out of five. So that's pretty good. Okay, so the part when he finds that the hotel door open and he goes in there and he opens it and he, and he opens the little thing and he sniffs it and he puts it back and he puts it back on there. So I'm in the theater, right? And some people they started clapping. I was like, mm mm, mm mm. Oh, oh, and then he snatched it. He snatched that bottle back and took that. Yeah. So anyway, so that part I knew that was coming. Um, I really liked the movie. Um, acting and it was great. It was written well. I even like the um the soundtrack. I, I think it was it was very it was very applicable. It like that that song Sweet Jane. I actually heard that song once before and it's actually on CSI. That's the only other time I heard it. It was on CSI the regular one on um, Miami with um who are those people? You know the one. The reg I mean not Miami, Las Vegas. The reg the original CSI, the one in Las Vegas. I heard it on, on one of those episodes or whatever, so I had heard the song before, but I just, it just seemed, I don't know, it just went. Everything just was awesome. Also, I like the fact that it didn't win, it didn't end all fairy tale, pretty glitter and rainbows and cakes at the end. I didn't end like that. I like the fact that it was real. You have to pay for the things that you do in life. I mean, you reap what you saw and you've been an alcoholic and you're flying intoxicated and doing all this other stuff. I mean, you have to you have to read that. So I like that it ended like that. I don't really go for the fairy tale ending movies all the time unless I know that's exactly what I'm going in for. Like, for instance, Breaking Dawn. So on to that. If you have not seen Breaking Dawn, but you did see Flight and you were listening to all that, click the X right now, whichever corner it's in. Click it. Go, go, go. Okay. Breaking Dawn, part two. First of all, I have to preface this with I've been on a Twilight marathon probably for the past couple of weeks. So I'll watch, I rewatch Twilight. I'll Rewatched New Moon, Eclipse, and then I red boxed um, Twilight, um, Breaking Dawn Part One. So um, I watched that like ten minutes before you know we actually went and saw that movie. 
So I've just been on this Edward and Della kick. So going into that type of movie, you already know it's going to, you know, pretty much end all, you know, everything's going to be perfect. You know, the star of the show is not going to die or anything like that. So um, that movie was, it was really good. It was very well written. You know, you can say what you want about the actors and everything, but, you know, they all played their roles. It had a nice little twist, and I was like, oh, okay. Like, it, it was it was good. Okay, so if you haven't seen it, but you're still watching this video, go see it. If you are a fan of the whole, you know, Twilight saga, it was well worth the $5.50. Yes, I said $5.50, because I went to the $5.50 show to see it. Um, it was great. I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. Mom went with me and she enjoyed it too. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's all I've got for now. It's in my nails. I'm, it looks a little orangey, but this is red. But I only got one coat on it, so I'm gonna go ahead and put another coat. And I might do like a little ombre effect with some type of gold tips. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I guess that's it. Um, as far as makeup goes, um, I'm rocking Rebel Max Rebel, and then I just have some Wet and Wild eyeshadows on, whatever. But um. Yeah, that's it. Well, I haven't done a six-minute video in a while. I guess I might as well do a weigh-in. I'm at like 153.6. Yeah, apparently I've been eating a lot, not working out, and that causes you to gain weight, apparently. So, I'm trying to get back on track. I went to the gym twice this week. No, th three times this week. Um, since I just got my membership back, I had a meeting with the trainer, and he hurt me. Okay, he didn't hurt me, but he made me hurt the next day. Like, my quads, my glutes, all that, very sore. Um, but after I saw Monday, I went to work out, then I rested on Tuesday because I needed to. And then Wednesday, I went to Zumba, talked my mom into going to Zumba with me. So that was great. And then Friday, Friday, I think it was Friday. I don't remember, but I went to the gym this morning, so I'm happy about that. Um, so I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. Got to snatch this body back in shape, okay? I'm loving the black hair right now because, you know, it's, it's fall, winter, and, you know, I like to, you know, go back to a darker color. I'm thinking about cutting my hair next year. I'm like 98% sold on that just because I'm ready for a new look. I feel like I've had the same hair for years now so I may do that so yeah we'll see we'll cross that bridge when we get to it I'm thinking about probably doing it um either around my birthday April or waiting till it's warmer but I mean it's usually pretty warm in April down here in Georgia so yeah that's it um nothing new to report my sister still hasn't had her baby yet which is not due till December 4th but um we're kind of hoping it would come a little bit early. I mean, not premature early, but, you know, before Thanksgiving. Why do I, she's trying to mess with my Black Friday. That's what it is. Just trying to mess with my Black Friday. You trying to wait and come on Black Friday. But actually, I'm not even going to be doing any shopping this year. I, I budgeted out some money for it, but I decided not to because I'm really trying to get debt free. And if that's an extra $178 plus tax that I would be spending on television that I could be putting toward my American Express card, then I'm just going to go ahead and do that. <sighs> yeah, I'm still on the, the train, still trying to get there, but it's a slow and steady road. But you know what? Slow and steady wins the race. I guess that's all I have for now. I'm not tilting my head up. You can see all the way to my brain. Okay. All right. Um, that's it. Sorry for this long video. Talk to you all later. Bye.